As a customer of Velux, we actually feel that we got a fantastic solution at fulfilling their requirements with the right process solution from SAP. So all in all, this cooperation is, yeah, from my side, it's more or less just perfect. And we, uh, we really look forward to try it one more time on another location. We SVS Store have built Velux's first automated warehouse, all controlled by SAP EWM, which we will show you soon. VS Store had Prismart as SAP partner on board from the raw concept ideas to hand over the system to Velux. The new warehouse allows the consolidation of all Velux products together in one shipment to the customer. This is possible because we enlarge storage capacity and dramatically increase the throughput performance at this existing location. Looking from the helicopter perspective, we solve Velux logistics requirements with advanced custom-built conveyor technology, custom-specific load carriers, and a high bay warehouse where automated stacker cranes operate. On the outbound side, we let smart robots do the heavy lifting of windows and flashings. Smaller items are manually picked by the operators where the conveyor system brings all pallets to the operator stations. Oversized items are handled manually next to the automated warehouse. And yes, each and every system is SAP controlled. In order to meet the custom specific needs, Via Store has developed oversized load carriers for Velux. The smaller pallets are roughly double the size of a Euro pallet. The big pallets are approximately the triple size of a Euro pallet. These two platforms enable Velux to handle everything from little spare parts to big windows in the same warehouse and also transporting them on the same conveyor system. Let me show you how straightforward the warehouse works. While unloading the truck, the forklift driver scans the incoming goods for the goods received process in the SAP EWM. In the next step, the load carrier is scanned to tell SAP on which pallets the products are placed before the pallet is automatically transported into the high bay warehouse. For Velux, we have decided to use oversized roller and chain conveyors as well as a so-called inverted monorail system where we have basically carts on tracks. The monorail travels with 23 vehicles in up to 2 meters per second speed and connects four buildings. There is an automated high bay warehouse with 10 oversized decker cranes. Each aisle is about 120 meters in length, summing up to over 13,000 storage locations. The three outbound areas are divided into the robot picking area where the heavy lifting of windows and flashings is done. In the second area, pallets with blinds and accessories are brought to the operator workstations where operators manually pick by light. The third outbound area, spare parts are picked manually, just like in the second area. I'm now standing here in front of our two picking robots. They can operate in parallel on six orders each at the same time. In our system, we uh, automatically gather orders into a number of waves, depending on what's the nature of the order, meaning what products, potentially also what market it is going to. In order to get the best efficiency of the system and also respect the packing order for, for each order, we have this wave release process where all the characteristics of the individual products within an order are taken into consideration by the system. Obviously, as we are dealing with heavy products, we need to get the large and heavy products in the bottom in order to build stable pallets for shipping to the customers we release a big picking wave, and then the action starts. The cranes in the high bay warehouse will move, bring pallets out with the monorail, and basically feed the two robots. Each of them can process from six different source bins on one side, and on the other side, pick to six orders in parallel. In terms of uh, throughput capacity, each of the robots can process on average 100 picks per hour. With our SAP EWM system, we have some possibilities that were not possible earlier on, 
and that is to uh, a lot, much larger extent to visualize based on real-time data. Meaning we have large monitors showing online KPIs and also we have graphics based on SAP Analytics Cloud. The task here at the manual pick station is actually yeah, to pick from, from different platforms. And it's both for single SKU pallet, but also what we call mixed pallet. It's a pallet that can change a lot of different SKUs. When the pallets are arrived here at the pick station, the SAP EWM uh, guide us. We uh, show the, a picture of the product. We show the amount that we need to pick and also where to place it. The operators, when you have done the picking, we will uh, scan to confirm we have picked the right product and then we place it in the put wall. So the put wall actually helps us with the 170 compartment for each pick station. We have a display we light up and where we should place the products. And by this solution, we actually gain uh, the possibilities to uh, pick up to 6,500 pieces per day. On the other side of the put wall, we uh, have the possibility to sort out to three, three different flows. One is our uh, consolidation flow, where we actually consolidate on, across the different flows, windows, uh, accessories and spare parts. The other thing is a single order, meaning one SQ, one piece to a, a specific customer. And then the third one is a multiple order, where there are several SQs, could be several SQs, multiple pieces in, and that's where we can spread this out to the different packing areas where SAP guides us to use the right packing material. Let me now show you our VRStore visualization application. It is a real-time visualization of physical movements in the automated system. We see the high bay warehouse with moving cranes, the monorail and conveyors, partly occupied or traveling empty to the next pickup point. The application supports the customer in identifying any system alerts quickly and tracks them for later analysis. It also helps during remote support for all subsystems because lock-in can be done worldwide by every user. Let's now have a closer look at the implementation of the SAP EWM system. SAP EWM is the Extended Warehouse Management System and it's SAP most advanced solution for operating an automated warehouse. This enables integration into the Velux group-wide SAP system. So that we have everything from incoming orders to production control to warehouse control in one software worldwide for all Velux locations. The warehouse location is the central hub of the Velux supply chain with deliveries to over 30 countries. This leads to many special customer requirements that have to be integrated in the processes. The design for all processes also took into account that they are the template for rollouts to other Velux warehouses in future. In this project, we were able to take the advantage that SAP EWM comes with a fully integrated material flow system. EWM includes everything from automation to finished deliveries. Thanks to the long-standing partnership, the VRStore and Prismart teams are well coordinated in their project work. This cooperation has important advantages for the customer. VRStore and Prismart knows each other's responsibilities and dependencies during the implementation and have a proven success story in implementing projects together. This allows us to plan the entire project together and avoid surprises. We were asked from the top management to come up with some improvements to put in automation. We looked at ATVs to move things from A to B, but it looked like uh, it was quite difficult. And then uh, we agreed that it was better to go uh, with an end-to-end -end flow and then uh, think a bit uh, bigger. Uh, and that's where this, uh, with the three uh, old warehouses, windows, uh, accessories and uh, spare part, should we should try to find a solution where we actually could merge that together. And that's where we ended up by looking at uh, stacker cranes for a high base system and some robots for the picking process. And of course, a manual pick station for, for other product types. In the, in the starting point where we was looking for a supplier for uh, building up a system that we believe in, we just met up with a very good solution from, from you could say, version one but also the effort that they put in, meeting up, open discussion about the different solutions. 
we were quite green in this automation from the warehouse side, so we were listening a lot to via stores knowledge. As you see here with our concept and our solutions, we are very happy. We have found a supplier that could support us with developing and also convince on a good way that what, on, what we need, what is the right solution for securing that we could actually work with all these different flows in the same warehouse. So uh, very good job from Viastore side.